Hello everyone, this is Johnny. Um, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Today, um, I'm gonna show you one uh, bandwidth monitoring tool I found is very helpful when I use Linux. The tool name is Diptop, as I show you on the screen here, that uh, the official website. Um, basically, this is a uh, tool can monitoring the interface uh, TCP table, UTP table, network traffic, and show you the diagrams, how much traffic being used uh, between those sessions. Um, I found it helpful. I think it may be helpful to you. So that's why I make this video. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to install it, basically. Well, let's start it. Um, I have um, Windows, I uh, have a Linux VM, CentOS VM installed before. So, here it is. Um, I just opened the SSH session here. Um, basically, let's get into the privilege mode. That's the account mode. And then we need to, first thing we need to install. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can um, get the uh, you can search online to get the RPM package because the only official website is the source code here. When you download the language source, buy it to make it, then we can have binary code to use it. Um, but here, and you can search the FTP RPM download and then get a link from Google and uh, that way, binary package. You can copy the link directly and then using a wget to it. Double get. Um, double get not installed yet, so you can in this way to quickly get it installed and then download the RPM package. Another way uh, I will show you, which is more easier to do. So let's get this finished. Tab get downloaded, then you can using yum install at the top and then press enter and you should be able to get this to was installed. Another way um, I would recommend it to do that get the EPL repository um, installed. So yeah, it's already in there, and then you can just install it. Top. Easy and fast. Um, so software has been installed. Um, use it. Just type I have top. Just like you type top to CPU memory loading. Similar idea. You can just type I have top to see the network traffic on your Linux machine interface. Here it shows um, from my local host to remote host, um, it's a, just a little, by, little bit being transferred. So basically um, what it looks like is um, the local machine sent the traffic to 74, 125, to 45, to 65, in two seconds, they send 1.14 k bytes. In 10 seconds, they send 0.98 k bytes. This is 40 seconds. So basically, this row is two seconds. Second row is 10 seconds. Third row is 40 seconds. And here is the total number. This is the total number at the bottom. So. I can open another session so to give you more details. So this is uh, another session on the same host. I'm gonna do pin 8888. So then you will see this is DNS Google. You can see how much traffic is transferring. Six hundred seventy-two bit. Six hundred seventy-two bit. So let, let me show you another, some other switches. Patch. This shows the help command, help window. So you can use NSDT, 
PHBBT, those, those the switches to see different uh, options, shows you different options on the screen. Let's get back to the main screen. So first thing is as, as is the source. So you're not showing source, host. So show false, 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 not showing false. M, M means not showing, uh, not doing the name, that's region, name, M. So it shows IP, not showing the host name. So you can see from my local machine, 10.128.0.14, there's a trap you're going to different websites. One website is the pin traffic we are doing, 8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.8.